Hi folks, after a much awaited delay, here I am with public speaking as promised. Welcome yet, welcome to yet another day of virtual classroom with Prof Zach of Easy Coaching. Now, by watching this video, you will not only learn the fine art of public speaking and pick up some very valuable pointers on the art itself, but uh, who knows, in the process, you will end up making some uh, money once you become a good public speaker after watching this video. So here, here it goes. Well, uh, let's be aware that public speaking does produce anxiety in most people. So it's no shocker that it does. It's true that it does. What are some of people's biggest fears? Well, in reverse order, and don't be surprised at this. There you have it. Public speaking is the number one fear in almost everyone. So there's no, no, I mean, there's no, you know, surprise that it produces anxiety in almost everybody. So that's natural. Now, how do you overcome this speech anxiety? Because obviously, overcoming this anxiety is a road, you know, to becoming a successful public speaker. So the first thing you want to do is acknowledge that you are indeed afraid. Acknowledge your fear. And then once you are fully aware that you are afraid of this public speaking anxiety, act confident. Pretend to be confident. Channel your nervous energy. Practice, practice, practice. Practice makes you perfect. I know this is a big cliche, but it's true. What I used to do when uh, I was a young budding public speaker as a high schooler, I used to stand in front of the mirror and rehearse my public speeches. And that was something very helpful for me. And that might work for you as well. Uh, you might want to simulate the setting at home. You might want to ask your friends and family to be your practice audience. Visualize your success, not your failure. Use deep breathing techniques. Focus on your message. Focus on the message of your speech, not the fear that exists in your head. Give yourself a mental pep talk. Always tell yourself, this will be a good speech. Obviously, this goes without saying, understand your audience and their listening. Be aware that people think faster than they hear and people have a short attention span. People jump to conclusions. People get easily distracted. Here are some of listening remedies to people's listening abilities. You want to keep your speech focused. You want to divide your speech into compact segments. You want to analyze your audience carefully. You want to adapt to the atmosphere, the environment, and the situation. We spoke about this in effective presentation skills as well. You want to understand the speech context in alignment with the audience and the setting. You want to know the audience so well that you want to be aware of the, the audience size, the demographics of the audience, their beliefs and values, how receptive or antagonistic they are. You want to be fully aware of this, the context and the setting. Is it indoors? Is it outdoors? What's the size and the shape of the room? What's the arrangement of the seating? How loud do you have to be? What's the, what's the kind of equipment that's available to you to deliver your speech? What's the lighting in the hall? What's the acoustics? Remember, we spoke about kinesics and proxemics. Understand and define your purpose. Inform. Inspire and persuade. Entertain. Introduce. Accept, pay tribute, understand the speech making process, choose and narrow a topic after careful research, of course. 
organize your speech, develop an outline, rehearse your speech, deliver, choose an appropriate topic. Is it important to you? Is it important to your audience? Will it hold the audience's attention? Is it manageable in the time available? Is it appropriate for oral presentations? Is it clear? Develop your central idea. Writing a one sentence summary of your speech helps. Generate your main idea. Does it have logical divisions? Are there reasons why it is true? Can you support it? Narrow a topic. For example, protecting the environment, water quality in your state or province, well water problems, or septic tank problems in our case, utilizing your home well assessments to reduce contamination risk. Getting feedback for your topic. You can get feedback from members of the potential audience, from friends, from family. Research your topic and find supporting material. Find the sources of the supporting material. What are the types of supporting material? Know the tests for the supporting material. Test it out, the credibility. Here are some sources, libraries, books, periodicals, newspapers, reference materials, databases, government documents, so on and so forth. Search engines, online libraries. Common knowledge, direct observation, examples and illustrations, explanations and descriptions, documents. Is the information in your speech specific? Is the source an expert? Is the source unbiased? Is the information timely? Is the information relevant to the point made? Does the information support your point? Is the information timely? In the physical print, the quality is controlled by experts such as journals, which is dictated by peer review, periodicals, editors, published text editors and librarians, and so on and so forth. Now, if you get some stuff from online, you must do your own quality control because be aware that everything on the web is not all true. Organize your speech. Make it chronological, topical, spatial, cause and effect, problem solution, comparison and contrast. These are the different types of speech you can have. Here are the types of outlines. You can have a rough draft and the main points to research, prepare an outline, title and the topic, the purpose, the introduction, the main and the sub points, the transitions, the conclusion, the supporting evidence, the speaker's outline, the introduction, the main point, the support, transitions and conclusion again, and the ethics to be followed while preparing your speech. Take accurate notes when you're doing your research. Record complete source citations. Credit the source for your ideas. When in doubt, cite the source. Never use someone else's speech. Never. What are the types of the introductions that can be? Think about that. The functions. Well, identify with your audience. The reference to a situation. Statement of purpose. Statement of purpose of topic. Statements of importance of topic. Surprise the audience with a claim or statistic. I'm going to stop here for now. This was the first part. Once again, this is Prof. Zach of Easy Coaching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this segment. I'm going to come with part two tomorrow, and we're going to finish the rest of this video presentation. Once again, stay blessed, stay safe, and we'll join, we'll, we'll join you tomorrow.
for the rest of this presentation. Stay tuned.